All right, all right. Everybody, how are you doing today? Welcome back to my channel. I got something I want to talk about. And this is uh, really about safety. And I know Chris and Steve, you're all about safety as well. And uh, my main concern is really just one thing, and that's to your battery pack. Uh, and I know that you have test and test and test and make sure that everything is perfect. Uh, but the only problem I have is with the, the NMC battery. And we're going to talk about that right now. All right, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. This is William Biz with Free Power. And I looked at a video clip with um, Sandy Monroe and Chris Anthony, and they were actually talking about batteries. And um, actually, I don't think they've really found a company that they really want to go with just yet. So that's why I was prompted to make this video. And so, well, let's just go ahead and take a look at the video and and then we'll just go ahead and discuss it. I'm going to tell you my feelings. And of course, I, as always, I want you to viewer, I want your feelings on this as well. But let's get into it. We probably won't have production battery packs until February, March of next year. So who's, whose battery is he going to, or is it? Uh, well, interestingly, the supply chain has really changed over the last yeah, year. Yeah, I know. And uh, we, we have a, a current deal with a battery manufacturer, but you know, the world has opened up to us in the last six months on yeah. battery supply. And, yeah. you know, there's lots of different companies that supply the 2170 cell, like the Tesla Model 3 uses. Yeah. And we're, we're kind of testing and picking that supplier now. Uh, but they're all kind of drop-in replacements to our pack. And we've already gone through validation mm -hmm. on our module and we're starting validation on our pack. So, uh, you know, we'll sort that out. Cool, that sounds great. Three months. Okay, so it sounds like they haven't picked their battery supplier yet and there's still time. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because with lithium ion batteries, there's this problem where if they get damaged or if there's a problem with one of the packs or if there's something wrong with the, the BMS, um, it could cause a fire and that fire could rage out of control because with lithium ion battery, there's a problem with thermal runaway. And I mean, these car fires can be very damaging and very problematic. As a matter of fact, they could be so problematic that uh, Hyundai and GM and Ford have actually had recalls on their vehicles. And I think Jaguar too has also had a bunch of recalls and Aptera really doesn't need to go through that if they can help it. And what I'm thinking is if they could just use um, LFP batteries, uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries, that would help out in so many different ways. We know that with lithium iron phosphate batteries that you could, there's so many benefits with it. With the Aptera having solar charging, that means that battery pack is probably going to be charged up full most of the time. Uh, and we know that lithium iron batteries do not like to be full all the time. As a matter of fact, the best way for that battery to survive longer is to charge it up just basically to 80% and make sure you discharge it at least, um, I think, between 40 and 20%. Uh, you engineers out there, y'all know better. Y'all can let me know. Um, but either way, we know that with those several things that there could be thermal runaway and it doesn't make any sense. If your vehicle is really protected from the outside, forces, but not from the inside sources. So that battery pack really needs to be as strong as possible and as durable as possible. Uh, so the things I'm looking at, if Aptera goes with uh, the lithium ion phosphate, that they would not only help solve the thermal runaway problem, but you could charge them up to 100%. You could drain them down to 100%. Um, the only problem with the battery is that it adds more weight. 
And I'm willing to accept, and I'm sure a lot of people would be willing to accept if you can only carry 400 pounds in the Aptera instead of 500 pounds because of the extra added weight. Also with um, the, the LFP batteries, they're cost effective, they're cheaper. So, I mean, that's going to help Aptera out as well. Not only are they cheaper, but the recharge rate is longer. So what does that mean? With the NMC batteries, they, you probably could recharge them up to about 800, possibly to 1,000 times. And that's why they only last 10 years. But with the LFP batteries, you could recharge them 2,500 times or up to 3,000 times which means they'll last instead of just 10 years, they could last up to 25 to 30 years. So another good reason why to switch over to the lithium iron battery, or at least go to the um, salt battery that's becoming real popular now. Uh, this company right here out of England, uh, they are developing salt batteries and these work pretty good too. The thermal runaway rate is much lower on these batteries as well, salt vehicles. And I know that Steve and Chris, you want to put the safest vehicle out there in the world. Not to just make a, a safe vehicle. We want to make the safest thing we can put on the road. This would be a good start. And I sure would hate for Aptera to come out with this vehicle. And then after about a year, you're getting all these recalls and you barely just started. Just something for you guys to think about. But um, yeah, I think that would be the way to go. I think that the LFP batteries would be the best way to go for Aptera. Uh, but you know what? Everybody out there, y'all give me your thoughts on it. Tell me what you think. I want to hear from you. Please let me hear from you guys. I want to hear your comments. And uh, maybe we could get Aptera to really change on this battery. Okay, so anyway, now we're gonna check out the um, accelerator program. I don't expect much to be done there. And they are still on a pause, so no doubt it probably hasn't changed very much. I Actually, I was surprised that it has changed as much as it has. So we'll go to the website. I don't expect there to be any change because they're on a pause. They've been on a pause for about a month and a half. And let's see what's going on. They surprised me before. They could do it again. We never know. But look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Aptera is always on the move. These guys have added two more investors. Way to go, Aptera. All right. Way to go. So if you want to invest in Aptera, this is the web page you want to co come to if you got $10,000. I'm not a financial advisor. But you can add and become part of Aptera's family if you put down $10,000 or more. And that'll actually put you in line to get the uh, 2000 edition. One that'll be numbered between 1 and 2000, which would be a collector's edition. And, you know, no doubt. Actually, all these vehicles are going to be collection editions once they first come out. But, uh, of course, the first one's going to, no doubt, have the most value. Yes, the first one's going to have and the one through 2000 is going to have the most value because they're numbered. But um, all of the vehicles from Aptera are going to be highly priced when they first come out. So good deal on that. And I just want to let you know that if you're new here, hit the like, ring the bell, subscribe, and you catch all my new videos when they come out. And giving a shout out to my guys, my patrons. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you so much for being there for me. Thank you for help covering and checking out my videos. I, that's the only way I could keep going. Um, I'm still working a full-time job, but that's going to be going on for a good while. But I do appreciate all that you do and tell your friends. But Aptera, once they come out, this baby is going to really hit the ceiling and they are really going to rock. This company is going to be going from zero to a thousand in no time. So if you want to be a part of it, I'm not a financial advisor. Talk to your financial advisor. He could give you advice on whether you should or if you shouldn't invest in Aptera. But right now they're in their infancy. This is the lowest you're going to get shares in this company. Um, 
Just some food for thought. All right. Well, anyway, um, you guys have a good one. Y'all take care and we'll see you later. All right. Bye-bye. Do you mind to quit your pretending? Truth or false, the shit never ending. Hear me.